Welcome to another Isotroposphere video for the Moog Circuit Bent Challenge 2016 for Moogfest. And this is my entry right here. Uh, this is the Barbie Karaoke Machine, or Barbie Sing-Along Karaoke Machine. Um, I've done a lot of work to get it to this point. Uh, what you see here uh, she's currently unplugged and everything. So, got a little sticker. This handle is adjustable on it, so you can kind of carry it around. I've retained the uh, stock tape cassette mechanism. A couple uh, touch points there at the front. Six switches to control uh, the bends on the front here located uh, the back of the unit here Got a little Barbie logo two ins two outs uh, two more ends on the front right there at the bottom these gray knobs here are the volumes for the inputs and these two knobs here are volume for the tape deck uh, switch to the front inputs or the tape deck tape deck echo or no echo and then this is the echo section uh, over here you've got a switch to turn the echo on and off these two switches correspond to uh, these two uh, bends here you've got a chorus and a fine for each one of those bends and then this bank of three here on the top corresponds to these three switches and these three along the bottom here correspond to uh, these three switches on the other side. Over here. Actually, yeah, yeah, over here. Tape deck mechanism and then the controls for that. I retained a 3D printed uh, Barbie logo for the front. I hand airbrushed the panels and I don't know if you can see, but there is minute lettering uh, on there. I got it on a fixed focus on the camera. So that's there. Um, again, th this is my entry. Um, a stock Barbie karaoke machine kind of looks like this. Uh, of course, minus the knobs and everything you see on the side. This is actually... Uh, a circuit bent unit I'm doing for a friend. Um, I just completed it the other night. Uh, used it for some of the props and everything. So this was actually uh, Barbie number three. There's the back there for outputs or using the uh, speakers which I left inside the unit there. Um, so again, my submission is Barbie number one. That was number three. And here is number two that I did, Barbie Karaoke Machine, with the bends. This also includes a Synthrotech dirt filter, as well as a Casper Electronics um, LFO uh, built into the unit. So that was number two. And number one was this guy. This was my first attempt at a Barbie karaoke machine. And thank you very much to the inspirational guide uh, at Casper Electronics for helping it to helping me get to the state that it's at right now. Um, included along with this are all the build instructions and photos of the step-by-step -step process. So you can bend a Barbie karaoke machine and it's a lot easier to uh, just keep her in her original case like this 
I did a lot of reworking and re-engineering inside to retain the stop take deck and uh, get it in here integrated uh, in the stock project box that you see. I just have the handle at its current location to kind of rest it up off the uh, deck and uh, so you can work the controls really nicely. Um, you know, primarily this is a Barbie karaoke machine, but now it's a instrument of noise in itself along with the delay. Uh, so depending on what you're pumping into it, uh, its output is uh, anywhere from just stock to uh, really nasty. Um, I also included, I don't know if you can see them on there, the uh, two LEDs on the top. Those are color morphing LEDs. I did wire it up with a new DC power uh, input on the back here along with an on off switch and uh, you know I primarily use it with a wall wart but she takes uh, four C batteries center tip positive six volt and this is a locking uh, you know the, I, I kind of use this for the traditional um, you know circuit bending applications. So let's take a listen to her and uh, be sure to check out the build documentation and photo photographs so you can build one of these yourself. All right, hold on. All right, well, Barbie is uh, hooked up here and I'm actually uh, speaking to you through her um, on this little carbon microphone made from an old telephone handset. So, it sounds pretty cool actually. And I got a uh, little Korg Monotron uh, also running into Barbie karaoke machine. Those are my little coral knob series uh, knob covers on that. And uh, let's give that a little volume here. Pretty cool. Pretty reminiscent of a Moog synthesizer. Very nice. Very nice. Even sweeter through a Moog filter. But we don't have one of those. So uh, let's throw a little delay on my voice. Let's see if we can dial it in. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Got a nice little, you know, speed it way up there and then uh, control it and bring it down. Four cells. Cool. Sound. Now I should mention uh, that this particular uh, Barbie karaoke machine is a version uh, number two uh, with the black blob on the circuit. And uh, that is the more noise heavy. If you read the documentation that I'm providing, then uh, you'll understand the difference between the two versions. Anyway, this is the more noisy version, and believe me, she will get downright evil. So here's the tape deck uh, working on there. Actually, is there any sound at this point in the tape? I don't even know. Oh, we need volume. There we go. And yeah, there's lots of grounds in here. So we're getting uh, quite a bit of ground hum and the uh, morphing LEDs on the rear here also uh, make quite a bit of noise in the circuit.